On the 5th of June 2019, the Knight Lagos State House of Assembly was inaugurated. The four-year journey came to an end on the 6th of June 2023 as the 10th Assembly takes over the baton after an election that saw the emergence of 20 returning lawmakers and 20 newly elected members. The State Governor Babajide Songulu was among dignitaries that witnessed another memorable moment in the history of the State Assembly. Commending the Knight Assembly for its support in the last four years, Governor Sonwulu declared the 10th Assembly open. I stand there and I want to assure you that as your governor, I stand neutral in your selection process. I'll expect you to do the right thing as always. My interest lies in ensuring that we work together. Today, we come together to commemorate a momentous occasion in our history, the proclamation of the 10th Lagos State House of Assembly. This ceremony symbolizes not just the continuity of our democracy, but also the vital role of legislative powers in our system of governance. The legislature, an indispensable pillar of our democracy, plays an essential and a vital role 
in the journey we have embarked upon as a nation. It is the embodiment of the hopes and aspirations of our people, a critical partner in the quest for good governance, and they are the custodian of our shared democratic values. This assembly is a testament to the strength of our democracy and the commitment of Lagosians to pursuit of excellence. On the 18th of March 2023, 40 members of the Lagos State House of Assembly were elected in that same election, Mr. Deputy and Mr. Deputy and Mr. Governor were also elected. So indeed, 42 of us were elected on the same day, on the 18th. And it's an honor that we're here to inaugurate this great assembly. Lagos State has always been a citadel of resilience and dynamism, leading the path in innovation, development, and cultural diversity as we embark on a new journey, we are reminded of our shared commitment to, the, to bluster the prosperity of Lagos State and to improve the lives of every Lagosian. As we inaugurate this assembly today, you will also be conducting elections. But before I go to this assembly, let me thank, and as the clerk has been said, thank the ninth assembly. I want to, on behalf of the government and people of Lagos State, thank members of the Ninth Assembly who worked with our government tirelessly and who ensured that the dividends of democracy is reflective with the collaboration of that Assembly. Like I did said yesterday, I want to wish each and every one of them the very, very best in their future endeavor. Today is the turn of the Tenth Assembly an assembly that we believe will be vibrant, an assembly for the first time that is having 20 new member elects and 20 returning members. And after my speech, we shall be conducting an election of the speaker and other principal officers. This is a constitutional function that further demonstrates the strength of our democratic values. It is a significant event reminding us that the principles of fairness, respect, equity, and majority rule, and the protection of the right of the minority is the bedrock of our democracy. The election of the Speaker and other principal officers of the House followed. The member representing the Fako Ijai constituency, Timi Tokwe Adediji Adewali, nominated Mudashiru Ajayi Obasa as the Speaker of the 10th Assembly. I hereby call on a member elect to nominate a ranking member elect to take the share of the House as Speaker of the 10th Lagos State House of Assembly. Member elect, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the prestigious House of Assembly, Lagos State House of Assembly. My name is member elect Adiwali Temitopwe Adidij OON. And I rise today to nominate member elect from Agige Constituency 1, Right Honorable Dr. Mudashiru Ajayi Obasa, <laughs> to take the seat as the Speaker of the Tenth Assembly, I so move. Any second, please? Sylvester Obukelu Ekpetu. Thank you, Mr. Clark. I, member elect Ogunkelu Sylvester Oluadanse, member representing Epe Two, hereby rise this morning to second that member elect Dr. Mudashiru Ajayi Obasa Agege Constituency 01 should take the chair as the speaker of the tent assembly, so I second. The nominee, member-elect Dr. Mundashiro Ajayi Obasa, to please state whether he accepts the nomination or otherwise. Distinguished member-elect, 
Mr. Clark, I rise to confirm my acceptance of, nomi of my nomination made by member elect Demitokwe and seconded by member elect Sylvester Oludansi. So accept, sir. Thank you. By the power vested in me, the House rules and standing orders and all other powers, I hereby declare member elect Dr. Mudashiro Ajayo Basa as the Speaker elect of the 10th Labor State House of Assembly. <laughs> do solemnly swear that I will be faithful, bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as a member of Lagos State House of Assembly, I will perform my functions honestly to the best of my ability, faithfully, and in accordance to, with the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law and the rules of Lagos State House of Assembly, and always in the interest of suffering sovereignty and integrity, solidarity, well-being and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directing principles of state policies contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me. Allah. Thank you, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Speaker of the 10th Lagos State House of Assembly. Without opposition, Obasa was declared speaker, while Mojisola Lasbert Miranda of Papa Constituency One emerged as the deputy speaker. I, Miranda Mojisola Lasbert, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. Other principal officers of the house were also announced. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you and I welcome you here to the inauguration of the 10th Assembly, as being said by the clerk, that he has his limitation as from this moment on. And the speaker has taken charge. I, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Clark, we thank you for your role and we appreciate all you have been doing. And I also want to welcome Mr. Governor, our neighbor governor, the celebrity of our time, the performing governor, and his brother of Afebe Amsa. We thank you. We can thank you enough. I know and we know the role you play for us to have this session. We thank you. Likewise, our party leaders here with us this afternoon, the GAC, we thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We thank you. I will still come back to that. But before we go further, we see our constitutional responsibility to perform as given to the business rules and standing order of this house. We have other member elect that will join Mr. Speaker and the Deputy Speaker to perform the responsibilities and duties assigned to them by same business rules and standing order of the house. 
But this time around, it's not going to be in the same form in which the speaker emerged and the deputy speaker. So, we will be electing by voice vote the majority leader, deputy majority leader, the chief whip, and deputy chief whip for the third assembly. And I pray Almighty Allah will direct all of us and guide us perfectly to serve the people of Lagos and the government of Lagos. In this wise, I will be putting to you, member elect, the nomination of Honorable Nohim Adams as Majority Leader of the Tenth Assembly, who is representing Etiosa of the Stressy O1. Call in favor, say aye. aye. Those against nay, the highest armies. I am, I am happy to announce to you that from this moment on, to the end of the third assembly, Honorable Noim Adams of ATL Circumstance Hall 1 will be the majority leader of the third assembly. The House elected Nohim Adams representing Etiosa Constituency 1 as the majority leader of the 10th Assembly, while Damola Kasum of Ikeja Constituency 2 became deputy majority leader. Mojid Fatai of Ibejuleki Constituency 1 emerged as the chief whip of the House, as David Setonji of Badagri Constituency 2 is the new deputy chief whip of the 10th Assembly. The clerk of the House, Olali Konofeka, said the election of Obasa as the Speaker and Miranda as the Deputy Speaker was a unanimous decision taken by the 40 members. Uh, I'm very elated, I'm happy, I'm very happy because um, the wish of the people, especially the members elect, has come to fruition. Uh, we, 39 of us came together and decided that Mr. Right Honorable, Mr. Speaker, Right Honorable Dr. Mudashi Obasa would speak again. Because of um, the good deeds he has done in the 8th and the 9th Assembly, he has been able to move the legislative arm of the government to the next phase and um, he has done fantastically well in terms of private member bills and a lot of bills and motions have been put the house. So yes, he has done again and we have requested for him to come back to the house. The house now has about 20 new members and 20 old returning members and um, we need his legislative experience and his wealth of experience to be put into use to steer the ship of the legislative arm to help to bring the dividend of democracy to the people in Lagos. And all we have learned in terms of legislative proceedings that was taught to us by Right Honorable Dr. Mudashi Rabasa. And he's a fantastic teacher, he's a good listener, he's a good mentor, he's a good leader. He has taught us everything we know today. And I am very confident those new members that are coming in are also vast with knowledge and experience in different fields of life. And they understand the tenets of democracy and how democracy works. And they also understand a bit of legislation. They will learn and they will catch up fast and they will learn very fast on the job. We know Abasa is very patient and is always good to teach us. They will teach us all we need to know. The coaches don't have to worry about the house. The house will continue to be above the common standard of excellence as it has always been. The Right Honorable Mudashura Jaya Obasa is one of the best speakers in West Africa and he has truly, truly, truly strengthened this institution beyond means. And I think him leading again in the 10th Assembly is only going to bring us and bring Lagos State into more prosperity, inshallah. I think under the leadership of the Right Honorable, I think uh, he knows how to address such issues and I believe that he will train those that he needs to train adequately so that they can serve in this institution. Um, I, we need to learn a lot, um, first time as well, because of our induction programs we've been doing recently. So we know a lot already. We just intend to see it in practical. If we're doing it more or less like um, reading it and seeing, being taught several things. But this is basically the main thing I would like to see how it's done in the legislative wing of the government. Because I personally intend on keeping my promises to my constituency, that's people, the good people of Lagos Island constituency one. Um, I already made promises, and but um, the main promise I'm going to make right now again is that I intend to make them proud. The emergence of Mudashi Robasa as the Speaker of 10th Assembly makes him the longest serving Speaker in the State Assembly as well as Nigeria. As the 10th Assembly begins legislative business in full swing, Obasa assures citizens of the state of Oroboros House and more impactful laws.
If I was a walk of events, a good if Lati worry in a full pillay. Nibo question the mana mana loja juma. It is what you love our rabbin beyond Bali. He lay be much of in Lueco. If I was a walk of events, a good if Lati worry in a full pillay. Nibo question the mana mana loja juma. It is what you love our rabbin beyond Bali. He lay be much of in Lueco. If I was a walk of events, a good if Lati worry in a full pillay. Nibo question the mana mana loja juma. It is what you love our rabbin beyond Bali.